Hi! Hello! Today is the big day, everybody. Those of you who are big fans of Stardew Valley, there's a big O update out in just a little bit, known as Update 1.6. We'll be taking our first look here at it today, and uh, we played Stardew a few times before, but I'm a complete noob. I don't really remember how to play, nor do I play this much, but I do know it's fun, and we've played it a little bit. And it's a very, very fun, very good game. Right now, everybody's standing by. The developer has uh, mentioned that the update will be out in about maybe 15 to 30 minutes. But, you know, things are always changing and whatnot. Their Discord's blowing up with people asking, when is it out? When is it update? When it... That kind of thing. So if you're on PC, if you're playing anything uh, with Steam on it, the update will be out for you today. If you have it anywhere else, like on console or whatnot, you might have to wait a week or two uh, for the update to be like validated and pushed down on those services, but we get to play today. There's a whole new map I heard. There's a, uh, a Meadows map and it lets you start with a chicken farm already. So you start with a house, a chicken coop, and then uh, you can go from there. And apparently it's a landscape that will benefit animals a lot more. So if you like raising animals and you know sheep and pigs and whatever else and cows, this will be for you. You can also drink mayonnaise. So there you go. Yes, thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. Oh, thank you, chat, for all the happy birthday wishes. Yeah, it's uh, on Saturday. I'll be live streaming from PAX East in Boston. So I'll be leaving like uh, Friday night, and then I'll be there from like uh, Friday night to like Sunday-ish, and it should be a lot of fun. So uh, very happy to, uh, you know, take a look at all the new games and other stuff that might be there as well. So good times, good times. Yeah, there's a lot of other great games like Stardew out there, yep. Uh, Dinkum is a great one, of course, Animal Crossing, and yeah, there's a lot of great farming games, including one that just came out earlier today you might be interested in called Lightyear Frontier. We played it earlier on the uh, channel, and they just tweeted four minutes ago that this game finally is out on Steam, so uh, no longer do you have to wait. You should be able to get the game now on Steam. should be available for, uh, wow, 20 bucks for this game? Ooh. All right, 20 bucks for Lightyear Frontier. Uh, this game's co-op, too. It's also on Game Pass and on like Xbox and all that stuff too. So uh, enjoy Light Your Frontier if you like Stardew Valley, and if you like maybe Scrap Mechanic and maybe Satisfactory and a few other games. Uh, it's a farming game. Oh, actually, there's a water tower there, so there must be some sort of automation to water. We'll have to figure that out. But we'll be playing more of this one tomorrow. And it really got me in the mood to play Stardew Valley uh, today because you know farming games are a dime a dozen, and they're all very very good. And everybody's very excited, I think, for a uh, Haunted Chocolatier which is coming out next from the same developer of Stardew. Who knows when, but it will break the internet when it comes out, and I think uh, 1.6 will break the internet too. Okay, so there's no patch notes for Stardew yet. 
There's some unofficial, well, official unofficial stuff from the developer on uh, Twitter, already tweeting out about uh, certain things like that. But this has been announced as of uh, February and is now out today. So we'll be uh, standing by till, it, till the big O update. So if you're getting the game, if you have the game or whatnot, let me know if it updated for you and we'll, we'll try to do a refresh. So right now we're in the waiting room. We're just standing by waiting for Steam to update with the game and then we'll go live with the uh, update ASAP. Should be good stuff. Good morning, chat. Good morning, Raptoria. Hello, Rod. Welcome back. D, good to see you too. Jennifer, good to see you back. Oh, D also bringing the coffee mugs. Thank you very much. Good morning, Saigon. Good to see you there. Yeah, thanks again for all the birthday wishes, folks. And the, hello there at Jerry Indigo one over on the uh, over on the Twitch chat. Thanks, Jerry, for watching over here too. Hmm. We're getting there. Boston, get some Dunkin' Dunkin' Donuts from Boston. Oh, I don't know. We'll see what I have time for. I got a lot of, um, seems like there's going to be a lot of opportunities this year for me to do, like, um, go to a place for two or three days and then go home. We'll see. But this year we've got Japan planned. I'm going to be going back to Poland for something. My Europe trip was tons of fun and I really, really liked it. And I'll be uh, going again. Oh, wow. Wow. So we're just going to chill and wait for the uh, update to drop. We'll uh, watch the music a little bit. You're watching from Brazil? Welcome aboard, dude. Thank you very much. And thanks, Tom, for the birthday wishes, too. Thank you, Windy for son as well. Thank you, guys. Chat's the best. Thanks for being the best out there, folks. You guys are really nice. Stardew Valley is a game that I think dropped in, what, 2016? And uh, this is the type of game where... It, the game, the way it looks now, is drastically different than what it did when it first, like when it very, very first released. Like, it looks pretty good now. It's a really nice little pixel art game with combat, and, you know, there's like survival elements to it. Like, you gotta eat to heal and get energy and stuff like that. Primarily a farming simulator, but much more than that, too. You can, like, marry anybody in the town and um, go to a lot of cool places. Beautiful festivals and events. Well, also, another great game similar to this, too, that we played recently on the channel was... Um, there's a uh, Coral Island, and then also another one called, I think, Spirit of the Island. And uh, even another one about fishing called um, Moonlight Bay or Mo Moonglow Bay. I, I could literally make a YouTube channel just covering all these cozy farming fishing simulators and be happy for, like, the rest of my life. Like, seriously, it's really cool what you can do with these types of games. Um, but, yeah, oh, also co-op and horse riding and more. Oh, and the fishing mini games. I can't. I can't wait. Oh, and a train game of the year. I like it. I like it a lot. So we don't have patch notes yet, but there again, there are some things that are kind of hinted, not hinted, but like uh, kind of passively confirmed by the dev. Kim, thank you very much for the thirty-eight months as a bear cub. Hope you a good vacation and best birthday wishes. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, I had my vacation, and uh, I'll be taking a few more days on vacation, too, so very excited. <clears throat> oh, do I hear the game? Oh, there's a little video on it. I guess we'll watch the little trailer while we wait. We're standing by. Um... Oh, the farm is pretty. Also, um... There's, like, pictures all over online of uh, people building, like, their... All their farms for the previous version 1.5 and people, like, 14 years into the game. And, like, I think there's, like, uh... Well, I don't know. I, I don't even know how many farms there are to go to now. Like, almost 10 or so of, like, these different maps. Of course, there's, like, mods on top of mods on top of mods. So there's that. The dev did recommend that everybody just plays vanilla. So that, I guess there's no confusion between 1.5 and 1.6 of what's new. But, you know, it's your game. You do whatever you want. You can, like, play 1.6. And Also, uh, the dev did say that most mods should be working for 1.6. But, of course, there's all the occasional mods that won't work and will need to be updated a little bit over the week or something like that. So, all good. We're just standing by. Bum. I think they'll, I don't even know the last time we played this game, but I have about 20 hours in it, which sounds like not a lot, but I feel like with 20 hours in this game, you could do a lot. But still, it's uh, there's so much to do. 
Oh, there's ice fishing too? What? Wow, I didn't even know that was a thing. Hot air blow. There's so much of this game I haven't even seen. Like, everything will just be new to me. I've, I've just kind of forgotten everything except for the community center and, like, your house. And that there's fishing and stuff, which is cool. Is that a zombie? Looks like old school Nintendo Zelda. Yes, yes. Yeah, if you really like um, Super Nintendo, this this is 110% Super Nintendo vibes, this game. And this is a game that I always use whenever people say, you know, graphics bad, game bad. I I've started to see that argument kind of disappear where it's like, I think the people who always thought that graph good graphics meant good game have finally realized that to make good graphics is easier than making a good game. Like using uh, X engine like Unity or Unreal and then like getting assets and making it all look good. Making it look good is one thing, but making it play good or be interesting is that's the hard part. So that's why Stardew is so fun because there's a lot of cool things to do. Oh, look at that. February 26, 2016, this game came out. Almost 10 years. Wow. Like, two more years, this game will be 10 years old, but the dev's already working on his next game, so... I don't even know if it's on Steam yet. Let's check. Hmm... I don't see it yet. There are some great images of it, though, so very excited for it. Standing by. Welcome back. Hope your trip was well. It was. Thank you for, thank you for asking. It was a good time. I ate a lot of good food. Had some some good beers, brother. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, everybody's in the Stardew Valley waiting room right now. Like everybody is literally just waiting. Just waiting, waiting. Let's see. I'm gonna check everybody else, see what they're up to. Let's see. Um, I see a lot of people just kind of watching their Discord and stuff. But nobody can play until it updates on Steam, so we're standing by on that one. Standing by. Yeah, yeah, the developer is indeed a concerned ape. Very concerned. Yeah. I think on their Discord, there's a lot of people like named a concerned Jaguar, a concerned bottle, a concerned... Like whatever your name is, you just put concerned in front of it. So Anna would be concerned Anna. Or Dark Mayu would be concerned Dark Mayu. <laughs> you want me to play Call of Duty Vanguard while we wait? Lol. All right. Yeah, concerned Jamma. That's right. Oh, there's so many cool games that came out this week, too, and good updates. Helldivers, like, in the last week had the mech update. I, I still got to play Banishers, too. There's so many games that I want to wrap up this year, chat. But I made, like, three critical mistakes this year, but I'm still going to try. I want to travel more, which means I'll have to game less, but I want to finish more games, which means I need to game more. And then I wanted to, like, play games that I only wanted to finish, which is, like, arguably there's some games that you just can't finish. Like, you're finished when you're when you're finished, you know what I mean? Like, you can play a NFL game or something like that and finish when the season's over. But certain, ga certain games, like Farming Simulator or whatnot, you really can't ever, like, beat those games. Like, you kind of just play till you get bored. It's like, um, you know, City Skylines or something. Like, you can't really... You can set a goal, but there's no, like, end credits that'll roll when you finish it. Speaking of good graphics, did you ever play The Order 1886? I did hear of that game, and I remember that game. Do doesn't that play, like, a Dark Souls game or something? I don't remember. Concerned Abe says he's making a coffee. Oh. Criminal. That criminal. <laughs> Helldivers, yeah. That's a good game. Mm-hmm. 
concerned alloy. Yeah, concerned llama. Yep. Yeah. I miss llamas being the joke of all the uh, Sim City games. Like all everything from Maxis, they would have like reticulating splines and llamas as being like the the team. Like if you if you made a stadium for your city, then your sports team would just be the llamas, that kind of thing. Did I like the coffee in Switzerland? Um, I don't remember if I had coffee, but I'm just going to say yeah. I don't think I had any bad food or food that I didn't like in Europe. There was nothing... Okay, there was there was one cheese in the Czech Republic that I bought, and it was like cheese that was tied into a little bowl, and it was incredibly salty. But people told me that you're supposed to have that with something else to like counterbalance it. So the the cheese itself was incredibly salty, like aggressive, and I was like, "Oh, this is this is not. I do not like this." But it was explained that like you're supposed to eat it with some other stuff to like mellow it out. It's like, "Oh, okay, that makes sense." Like meat, meat and cheese do go together, so you're supposed to have some other stuff with it. But uh, I mean, it wasn't wasn't bad. It was just a different experience. I liked it. Had Belgian waffles. It was good stuff. You spend tons of hours in this game. Yeah, I'm up to like 20, almost 24 hours playtime. I think I, I, I've done a lot in this game. Like we saw the the new island and expansions from long ago. And uh, we played co-op multiplayer. We've gotten married and stuff. Nothing, though, will compete with playing um, Coral Island when we had to do the sack race. You guys remember that? Like on Thanksgiving Day, I was like, all right, that's it. This is my last attempt to try to beat this. Uh, I'm going to do this sack race one more time, and then I'm going to quit the game. And I did it. I did it. It was great. What was my favorite part of the trip? I don't know. The last couple of days, I've kind of felt sad. Like, I'm thinking about all the cool stuff and how fun it was, and now, now I've been kind of down because <laughs> it was so good. But, uh, no, I, I really enjoyed meeting everybody. The people that I've been friends with for a very long time, like... Uh, Thurston, for example. Like, me and Thurston have been friends for, like, five-plus years now. But I kind of only met him for the first time, and it felt like we were new friends, even though we've been talking for, like, almost six years. But then I met Elmox again, and me and Elmox have been friends for over ten years now. And um, I'll be going back to Japan with him, too. So, yeah, meeting all the people and food... You know, good, good drinks, food, and, and people really lock in those memories. Uh, for whatever reason, for me, food is something that kind of... It's like when you listen to music at a particular time period. Like if you... I don't know, if you, if you think back to high school, you can kind of remember all the music you were listening to in high school. And so for me, I can remember like the first time that I had like... Um, like a Stroopwafel in the Netherlands, like in 2014... Or the best roof waffle I had when I went and had one fresh at the Mark Tall in uh, Rotterdam in 2016? 18? Can't remember exactly. But, yeah. Um, I mean, you know, it, it kind of puts it into perspective. At least I remember where I was and what I was doing. So, yeah, it connects with memories well, yeah. It kind of it makes some really nice bookmarks because... In Europe, I was able to see so many uh, buildings... So many monuments, so many statues within like a 10 minute period. I mean, you walk down one street and you've walked past 2,000 years worth of history in some cases. It's crazy. You know, it's like, oh, this over here used to be a Roman. This was part of a Roman wall that was then tore down six times and rebuilt 18 times. Now it's part of the side, back side of a church, but it's like on the other side of a McDonald's parking lot. And this parking lot was built in 1741 by Franz Ferdinand. It's like, what the, what? oh my God. <laughs> so, so much history, even if it's a parking lot. Crazy. I love that. I, I really do truly love that. It's good stuff. Yeah, Stroop Waffles are good. All right. Uh, if you're just joining us, we are standing by for the Stardew Valley update. Uh, it is dropping today. The developer said, you know, 15 minutes ago that it would be 15 minutes. So no, nobody truly knows when, but everybody's just kind of waiting. So uh, we're all just kind of standing by. I'm going to validate, force validate, and see if there's any uh, update to it. Yeah, an ancient Roman parking lot, exactly. Yeah, that's where the, the Romans parked their Dodge Ram, brother. You got to park somewhere. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. All right, we're going to wait and see if this thing finally has an update drop. It'll just be a little bit, I hope. 
You drive for about 200 miles and you cross three countries with language and culture. Yeah. And it's cool when a country has multiple languages, too, like uh, the Netherlands. Uh, I mean, Belgium being uh, both Dutch-speaking and French-speaking. And <clears throat> then you have uh, Flanders, which speaks Flemish. And when I heard somebody speaking Flemish, I immediately knew what it was. I was like, wait a minute. This sounds like Scandinavian Dutch. I was like, well, is that Flemish? And everybody was like, yeah, that is. It's like, yeah. I'm getting good at this whole, like, language thing. I like it. It was really cool to hear. It's a very soft language compared to Dutch. But, you know, it's, a, it's more of an accent or a dialect. But I, uh, yeah, I would, uh, I would definitely do it all over again. Although maybe, I think maybe, chat, what I should do in the future is instead of taking a, a two-week break, maybe what I'll do is um, I'll spread out, like, two different times that I'll go and stay for, like, a week at a time. So maybe I'll go in the spring and then I'll go in the... Uh, winter or something like that, or fall. <clears throat> what do you think about Swiss German? Um, it is kind of awkward to me that so many... I don't know why it's not weird when other nations speak French or whatever, but whenever, you know, Austria, Germany, <clears throat> and parts of Switzerland speaking German, it's like, why Why is that a thing? But it, it made sense after a while. But I, I thought it was kind of cool, though. It just makes me wonder... What, what was interesting, though, is that, like, for example, Antwerp which I think speaks mostly Dutch, and Brussels, which I think mostly speaks French, are not that far from each other, but the rate of which people spoke... It, it was almost like 98% of the people in Antwerp only spoke Dutch as like their primary like everyday speaking language, but they could speak English. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, 98% speaking French. It's kind of weird. I was expecting it to kind of be more like, you know... We're in 2024. You can basically travel you know, very quickly to many places. So I thought the language would be more based on the person, but no, they still have their official languages in each region, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's the same with Switzerland as well. Um, <clears throat> was a bit weird though, both in Switzerland and in Belgium, it didn't seem like there was a, a lot of accommodation for the other languages. It was like, if you went to the German part, everything was in German or English, but not French. But if you went to the French part, everything was in French and English and maybe there was some German and some French, but it seemed like the French catered to the French and then English speakers, and then the Germans catered to the Germans and then the English speakers. So it, it's like they didn't want to speak the other territory's language. They just would speak English, which I guess kind of makes sense because if you're in Europe, I think it's a major requirement to learn English anyway. So if you already know French, you probably know English, and if you already know German, you probably know English. So instead of learning German, English, and French, you would just... Like, English would just be the, the handshake language, which is kind of cool. It's out? Chat saying it's out? Let's see. Uh, let me let me restart Steam. Hold on. All right, chat saying it's out. Everybody calm down. Breathe slow. Breathe slow. Okay. Chat saying it's updating? Okay. All right, I'm, re I'm restarting my Steam just to make sure it force updates. Stand by. Stand by. Everybody calm down. Calm down. Okay, this could be it, everybody. This could be it. One's in the chat if you're hyped. Hype emotes in the chat if you're hyped. Lowercase x in the chat if you're hyped for whatever reason. Hype. Hype alert. Oh my god, it is out. It confirmed. Here it is. Alright, let's update. That's it. Update queued. Oh, the last time I played this was December of 2020. I haven't played this in four years. Almost. Wow. Here we go. This is it. Hype in the chat. Let's go. <clears throat> Verifying. Wow, that was a massive update, dude. 53 megabytes. For a game like this, that may as well have been 53 gigs. Oh my god, that's it. It's ready. Okay. Let's officially play the Stardew Valley 1.6 update. Now, before we jump in, I do want to check one thing and see if the dev dropped uh, any... No, okay. Uh, there will probably be patch notes on Steam later, so everybody wondering what's new, are there patch notes? What I, I would say check Steam like every hour. If you really want to know every single little morsel of what's new, I would say go to Steam and then check like the discussions page or the news page. I didn't see anything listed there at the moment, but... All right, let's jump in. Stardew Valley, 
First look, 1.6. Let's go. Uh, yep. Pretty! <laughs> oh, he linked it on Twitter. Okay, thank you. All right, so the dev has linked their patch notes on Twitter, so just check for Concerned Ape or uh, Stardew Valley. All right, this is it. The big moment. Stardew Valley 1.6 is finally out. Co-op, single player, available pretty much on everything. The uh, chillest game to ever chill, really. All right, y'all ready? All right, let's go. Wow, they already got my uh, character right. Oh, and there's the new farm, too. We'll be able to take a look at the... The Meadowlands farm. There it is. That's the new one. Uh, it's not the best for growing crops, but there, there's chewy blue grass that animals love. You start with two chickens. That's nice. Beach farm, riverland farm, forest, hilltop, four corners. All right, we're going with the Meadowlands. And, uh, Chad, what are we going to call our farm name? What is my favorite thing? Robin. Animal preference. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a doggo. I want a, I want a little doggo. And I think I'm going to go with... This boy. Now this one. Now this one. Now that one. I'm going to go with that one. Okay. Um, and then our farm name. Fa content farms. Content farms. Yes, we're farming the content. Okay. Skin, that's fine. Hair... Wow, fancy dues. Can we just see the side? Oh yeah, there you go. Wow, there's a lot of hair. Jeez. Oh, that's nice. Uh, what else you got? Wow, there's like a hundred hairstyles. I think that looks fine, maybe. Uh, we could probably go with hairstyle one. Now yeah, let's go with one. Change our shirt. Oh my god, look at the clothing. There's so many options. And we'll go with the... Uh, is there like a flannel? Give me something flannel. Here's the, hi the high-vis vest. There's like some overalls there. Oh, I'll take that, I'll take that. Alright, I'll take the overalls. Like overalls, don't they? Jeez, that's a that that's a beard, all right. Some of these are like whoa, a little too a little too much beardage, I think. Skip intro now. We'll leave that on. Uh, what about shirt color? Pants color? We change our hair color. I think that's pretty good. Wrapped in meadow. That's a good one. Oh, red to match the hoodie. Um, I don't know if I could change the hair... I mean, the uh, shirt color. I could do the pants, but not the shirt. Well, there's white overalls. Oh, let's see if there's red then. Reverse Mario. I just need overalls with a red shirt. Yeah, 
There we go. Oh, that was number one. Oh, wow. Oh, look at how basic I am. Everything's just <laughs> everything's just one down the line. I've picked the most basic character, but I actually feel like this one's the one. <laughs> this is the one that represents me the most. Is just the most boring and generic standard character ever. Wow. I, d I just looked. Everything is literally just one, and I'm like, yeah, this is good. What what, what number is this? Just one. I'm the basic gap mom. Wow. All right. Well, we'll just go with that. I, I actually like that. I was like, I, wa I wanted flannel or something like that. Oh, it's because I'm number one. Thank you, chat. All right, that's good. Okay, so let's play on the new map, the uh, Meadowlands Farm. That's the new farm map. And uh, I guess we'll leave everything alone. That's fine. Okay, all right, let's go. Welcome to Stardew Valley 1.6. Yeah, we need, a, uh, we need somebody in green to be Luigi. Santa Claus, is that you? And for my very special grandson, I want you to have this sealed envelope. Oh, he's got a sword up there above the uh, fireplace. Grandpa has at least a confirmed kill. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Your bright spirit will fade before growing, uh, before growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Yeah, weird. Grandpa's like sleeping in the living room. XX years later. I mean, this could have been 50 years later. Joja, join us, thrive. Initiate work mode. Ah, these are all people making YouTube shorts. Man, look at those big monitors. Life's better with Joja. Is it Jojo? Jojo? Is he a streamer? I see the webcam. Come on, I want to play Stardew Valley. Oh. <laughs> Dear Raptor, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to my place. Uh, to that place. My pride and joy. Content farm. <laughs> it's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's a perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will you? Okay, Grandpa. Yeah, that was me receiving my, my gift to go to Europe, yeah. Did it come out? Yes. Version 1.6 is now officially out on PC. Oh, look at the rolling hills. It's pretty. Stardew Valley, point mi five miles. Europeans, miles are a freedom measurement unit that's used in Hell Divers and in countries that have back-to-back -back Super Bowl victories. You wouldn't understand. Robin, hello. You must be Raptor. I am Robin. Hello. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now. <clears throat> tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like how I made mention of all the customization options in the game, like over a hundred, and then I just literally went with one, and I didn't even know it. But it shows that I'm just easy to please, chat. That's all. This is Content Farm. Yeah, let's farm that content, baby. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. 
With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Where are the chickens and bluegrass? I know, that's my question too. We'll find them in a second, I think. Here we are, your new home. Oh, that must be the mayor. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of, the Pel of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very, um, rustic. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude. Don't listen to her, Raptor. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. He's going to turn around and tell me about the bears. Oh, I almost forgot. The bears. No. Uh, if you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. <coughs> I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, thank you, Lewis. Well, good luck. And don't forget about the bears. <laughs> Your progress has been saved. Uh, does it update or do you have to download it through Steam or whatever? Uh, both, yeah. You have to download the update through Steam. Wow, look at our house. Fancy. How do I, uh, oh. Yeah, I got, uh, hey. You received hay times 15. All right. Nelski, thank you very much for the five months as a bear cub. Tucker Hat will make an appearance in Zaho oh, Build 42 for Project Zomboid. You're absolutely right, he will. All right, so we're supposed to have a chicken coop now? Do we have a map? Okay. Oh, there, that looks to be bluegrass. Oh, and there's the little uh, chicken coop. That must be bluegrass, right? Oh. Fiber. Oh, the little chicks. Look at that. Aw. Can we name them already? Oh, God. I almost killed them. Okay, well, I showed them love and infection. Do I have to feed them? Uh, the hopper is empty. Build a silo and cut grass with your scythe to refill it. You guys hungry? Oh my god. One's name is Shrimp. Shrimp looks really happy today. One month old baby. Sell for two fifty. dollars Change home building. We got Shrimp and Tiny. Oh my god. That is perfect. Uh, put hay in the, uh, in the fodder? Feeder? Silo required, it says. Oh, wait, we put it here. Is that their bed? Maybe that's their bed. I'll come back. Okay, um, well, let's, uh, I guess clean up this place a little bit. Get to, uh, get to going on the cleanup. Another game that's like this, too, is Traveler's Rest. Traveler's Rest is a co-op, uh, like, medieval tavern game that kind of reminds me of this, too, in many good ways. We'll start small with a little coop. Oh, we can open up the door to let them outside? Oh, cool. Thank you, chat. Oh, there they go. Oh, look at the waterfall, too. Oh, this is the best farm ever. Love it. Thanks, chat. All right. Well, I guess I'll leave them in there. And I'll tidy up stuff around the house some more. Have a watering can, too. 
The r little river looks great? I think so too. That looks really nice. All right. Um, what do we have here? Something here. Should be a little, uh, isn't there like supposed to be usually a little, <clears throat> maybe like a pond or something nearby? Look at all that blue grass, baby. I'll leave some of this grass for the critters. There's our little pond. That's usually there. What is that? It looks like a helmet. Yeah, we need Lumberjack Samurai in the game. All right, well, we'll clean all this up out in front of the house. That'll be our first little farming area. So apparently not too many, um, like not that good of a farm, but very good for animals. So if you're an animal lover, this is the map for you, apparently. <clears throat> oh, look at all the butterflies. Fluttering butterflies. Fluttering butterflies. I got some seeds. So maybe we can grow that blue grass ourselves and uh, feed it to them. All the animals. That might be something. Also, at least this game gives you the decency to, like, have all the... Like, you got all the tools you need right at the start. Like, your axe, pickaxe. At least we don't have to, like go and grind for it. You think the mayor was robbing me? Yeah. some of the trees for now. And I did get some free seeds, so I mean, all right. Start with a little farm field here. We did it, chat. We're a farmer now. Oh, yeah. Mission complete. No mail. Hey, welcome to all the new followers on Twitch, too. Thank you guys for all the support. Hey, guys. Shrimp and tiny. Love them. Leave some of that stuff for them. So we're going to get eggs and um, obviously more animal products in this version of the game. So milk and milk and mayonnaise, or milk and uh, eggs go together for mayonnaise. There's more of that grass. Okay. Oof. I think a little 
maze. Oh, this is the greenhouse, I think, right? Whatever this once, uh, whatever this once was, it's now in ruins. Ancient ruins, guys. We've settled somewhere in the ancient ruins of Pelican Town. Five bell. Oh, what's this? A little hole. At least our house is nice. Oh, we can store stuff in there. Okay. Uh, what's the weather report tomorrow? Uh, welcome to K uh, KOZU5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow going to be clear and sunny all day. Fortune teller. Welcome to Wellwick's Oracle, the only show where the voice of the spirits are channeled directly to you. Spirits feel neutral today. Day is in your hands. <coughs> Welcome to Living Off the Land. This reminds me of uh, Project Zomboid when you watch TV and stuff to get little info. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting for your first harvest. Okay. Wood is good. Question marks. Bus stop. I don't remember this map at all. I always know the farm, I think, is on the left side. Oh, boy. Uh oh, a cave. Means bears. We're receiving messages through the TV, no craziness. Yeah. All standard and normal. I think that's where we can grow mushrooms, I think. Well, it's already 7 p.m. We're almost out of energy. Hmm. Did I sell anything? Hmm. Go look around and see if there's anything to forge. Oh, the bus was literally next to our house. You think this version of the game is more overgrown than the previous ones? You could be right. Such a pretty town. Cows. That was a rabbit that ran into the bush. Safe with chat now in their bush emotes. back home. Lots of bluegrass here too. Navigating at the beginning is such a nightmare too because you haven't yet made any roads. Roads? 
When we're farming, we don't need roads. Bedtime. Yay. I want to sleep in. I want to do nothing today. Okay. Let's check on the kitties. Hi, kitty. Okay. Well, I guess we could go into town and buy stuff. Like some seeds. Hello there, just got back from fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I got something for you, Willie. Are you gonna become my first friend, Willie? And give me a, uh... He's gonna give me a uh, fishing pole, I think. Open nine to five. Okay. Let's go meet our new friend. You wonder what the bluegrass does? I think it's just a better, higher quality grass for all animals. Parsnip seeds? Uh, I don't know if I have any in my inventory. I started with some hay for my chickens. Oh, there he is. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Still trying to unwind from a month out in the salty seas. It was a big haul. Pulled a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. How much? How expensive is a fishing pole that you need to go, like go on a big old long haul? <laughs> That's crazy. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. I think we're related. You received a bamboo pole. Oh, good. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh, yeah. My shop's back open now, so come by if you need some supplies, brother. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. That's what my old pappy used to say. Anyway. Okay, well, let's try a little fishing. All right, yep. Yeah, first try. Hell yeah. A herring. Hell yeah, brother. It'd be a lot easier with a grenade. First try. I know. I'm proud. I'm proud.
And another one. Oh, well, this will get us good money for seeds. And maybe more chickens. Come on, stay in that square, baby. No. Ah, oh, it's so hard when it gets uh, low like that. Okay. Oh, let's uh, chat with Willie. What do we get for two, sir? Sixty. Sorry about the smell. Training rod, bamboo pole, large fish tank. Fish smoker, wow. Trout soup, small, ball, small mouth bass bait. I see. Dave the diver would be proud, yeah. All right, I guess we'll do this for a while to get some cash and then uh, go buy some seeds. An anchovy. Yes, this is version 1.6. The new update. What do you think? The JoJo or the community center? I'll probably go community center. It always feels right. JoJo always feels wrong. A sea jelly. Ooh. Oh, I got to put something away. Uh, ooh, plus 88 energy? Whoa. A rare jelly found in the ocean. Ooh. Well, we should keep that then. We'll uh, get rid of the coal for now. That is new, the jelly is? Oh, well, we should definitely keep that. Let's see how much it will sell for. Oh, we can't sell it. But we can sell the anchovy for 37. All right, let's go buy some seeds. Oh, and a clam. Clam. Bird. Oh, what is that? All right, let's go find uh, the seed shop. There's the mayor. The Star Drop Saloon, food and spirits. Ooh. It's Mr. Raptor, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Huh. A little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. Parsnips bean starter. Cauliflower. Potato. 
takes six days to mature, has a chance of yielding multiple potatoes at harvest. Oh. Takes four days, takes ten days, twelve for cauliflower. Wow. Grass starter, grass starter recipe, sugar, wheat flour, rice, oil, vinegar, flooring, catalog. A lot of saplings and a dehydrator. Jazz seeds. Hmm. Let's go with the potatoes. I like potatoes. I'm going to go with potato. We'll do 12. Goodbye, sir. Are we going to reach the end? Oh, this is a oh, this is a game that really it doesn't really have an end. Like, you can keep playing and play however you want for a long time. Or set a goal like speedrunning, getting married or something like that, or getting to a certain dollar amount by a certain time. I mean, there's many ways to play personal goal-wise. Alright, I'm going to do wild seeds over there. I'm going to do tatoes over here. Big O tater farm. Potato. Uh, we're going to clear out some of this stuff, though. What is that? A rock? Yep. Okay, we'll start farming here. Perfect. And we got clay. Water. Cool. Yeah, uh, we can get a lot more of these, I guess. A rare jelly found in the ocean. I'm going to keep that then. Oh, that must be all for clothes. Maybe I can build a box. Okay, let's give that a try. A chest for 50. Place to store your items. I'll put it next to the mailbox. Mm. I'll put it here. All right, cool. Oh, we can color the box. Um, red. Oh, we'll go green. Not that green. That's fine. All right, cool. So now I'm storing stuff. Now I got a lot more room for activities. Okay, so it looks like we're going to need a lot of wood to build stuff like boxes, so we should probably get more of this land, land wood. There we go. 
We'll start around our farming area. Hopper thing for the chimpkins. Oh yeah, is there something I could build for the chickens? Um, campfire chest, torch, wood sign. Mm, oh, animals, shrimp and tiny. Special items and powers. Uh, maybe we'll find something in a bit. More wood is needed. That's right, Chad. That's right. Chicken Tyson bum, bum, bum. Ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, bum. Where's my tunes? need to make two boxes for sure. 50 wood each. Oh, the house upgrade lady has the silo? Okay. That might be something we have to do a little later. It's only our second day. We got time. We're only on day two. We made our first friend. Good old Willie. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Hey, petite Momon, thank you very much for following on Twitch, too. Thank you guys for all your Twitch follows and birthday wishes and stuff. Thank you. Appreciate the support. About to, about to black out. All right, time to time to go to bed. Mm, I'll use that later. Oh, we do have mixed seeds. We'll uh, plant those tomorrow, I guess. I like one one stamina. Very nice. What is that noise? Is that rain? It's raining! Cool. Good thing we put the watering can away. Shouldn't your dog be running around? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I have a dog yet. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? It does. Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. I'm not going to have money for that. Ain't no way. Ooh, you guys are getting big. Hey, you guys are laying eggs already? Awesome. All right. Good job, guys. I love you. You grew up so fast. <laughs> it's been like one day. Good job, you two. Excellent work. Sweet. Bum, 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 bum. 
Oh, how do you start it on a farm with the chickens? Uh, the new update. You gotta be up to date with version 1.6 and then select a farm known as the meadow? The meadowlands? Okay. Yeah, I was just, I was just yoking, chat. I was just yoking. Well, we could go fishing, try to earn some money. And then buy... Well, we'll go check on the price of the backpack. It's probably spendy, though. At least one dollar. Oh, what is this? The uh, mission board or something? Oh, it's birthdays and holidays. Oh, Lewis's birthday's on Sunday. Then Vincent... Bookseller comes in via hot air balloon? That's new to me. Egg festival's on the 13th. And the flower dance. Oh. Close on Wednesdays. Ugh, a turd. He puts a thing in my mailbox that says, Come on down. I got a hot deal for you. And then it's closed. What a great way to do business. It's like me saying, Hey, welcome to the stream, guys. It's over. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, you can fish from your farm. That's true. The uh, little... Uh, there's like a little pond there. I came down here, though, because I was going to sell it directly to Willie from the dock. And I also found that jelly here earlier, too. <laughs> Sitting on the dock of the bay. What is that noise? It sounds like a ghost. Is that a whale? <laughs> Bubbles? Oh, look, there's a chest up there. You monster! How dare you distract me with loot? Oh. Willie from the dock or Jenny from the block? Both. Jenny from the block is a new, uh, new character you can uh, romance. But she is strong and independent. I don't need no co-op farming partner. Anchovy. New record. What's up, Fabian? Oh, an immediate jelly. a new type of fish. Oh, a sardine. The jelly gives plus one fishing. I think you're right, because I uh, left one in the box, too. But only for seven minutes. Did I eat it? Let's do it. What's up, Polly? Welcome to the stream. Nope, wrong way. Turn around, you goober. There we go. Trying to fish the roof of the house. What a goober. Goob gooberson. What's up, Artemis? Hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, Raptoria. Good to see you all here in the chat. Hope you're all enjoying the big O stream. 1.6 Stardew Valley update. Gotta start a new game if you want the new map. 
Well, new farm. It's nice. Meant for more animals. I got some new ideas to sleep on. What's up, Jay? Welcome, Nicholas. Good to see you. Hell yeah, brother Nicholas. Hope you've uh, beaten Expeditions. Probably already did the first night it came out. Hope you're well, too. It's good to wait, way to make money while we wait for the taters, you know. And then I can try to get some more money with the, uh, the backpack would be probably a good move, too. You're so excited for the 1.6 update? Yeah. I don't know everything that's new. The dev did tweet out all the new stuff. I do know that you can now drink mayonnaise. That's a thing. There's a new map called the Meadows map that gives bluegrass and whatnot. It lets you start with two chickens. And is uh, a little more centered on animals at the start. That's cool. New is cool. Got him. That's new to me. You've got some new ideas to sleep on? Ah, oh, maybe. I haven't played this game since 2020. It's been four years. And I've only got 20 hours in it, but I know it's good. And I've... I can remember in like 2021 and 2022 watching a lot of people play it. Uh, you know, like having somebody else playing it open as a stream while I was working on other things, so... I know a thing or two, but I haven't done everything. Oh, shit. Barely anybody's done everything in this game. The amount of people who play it. It's a good game. I would argue that I think most people who probably own this game may own it on, like... You know, like, if you own it on PC, you might also own it on Switch, or, like... Maybe... I think it's on phone, too? I don't know. Yeah, the update will come out uh, on PC today. It's out now. Or anything with, like, Steam. But will be delayed on consoles for a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. That's how it goes. Potato! Yeah, we gotta wait. What was it for potato? 12 days? 10 days? Maybe less if we read to them. Take them out on a walk. Show them we love them. Whoa! A flounder! Hell yeah! It is on the phone too? Alright, thank you, Anna. Thank you, thank you. It's Big Ten Four. There we go. What? Seaweed? Ah, actually, that's kind of good. Can be used in cooking. I know you don't play Switch, really, but did you ever play Animal Crossing? Uh, I have played one of those games a long time ago, but not the new one or anything recent. But I know that's cool. The closest I came to playing that was a game called Dinkum, which was kind of more focused on, like, Australian memes and lifestyle and stuff. The developer of that one was really cool. Dinkum plays a lot like uh, Animal Crossing. You get your little Australian island. You get to go like fight joeys and kangaroos and alligators. I, actually, I remember in that game, I set up a fire like in the middle of my, my house or whatever, like in front of my house, and would just lure crocodiles to like burn to death in front of my house. <laughs> that game was awesome. How old am I? Well, uh, my birthday's on Saturday, and I will be 36. Wow. That's weird to say. Ooh, 600 bucks. Okay. I keep saving for that backpack. Keep reaching for the sky. Oh, he just left. 
That's right, that place just closed at 5. I can sell the rest in the box. I feel like 28, though. I look younger, though. Well, you know. Diet and exercise, two things that I avoid like the plague, have given me this beautiful gamer body. Ooh, more seaweed. Chat does take a notice to the gray hairs, though, on the sides. Which makes me terrified to, like, upgrade the webcam past uh, 4K. If they invent any other Ks, I'm dead. Oh, oh this is a wild one. Ooh. It's been a shark. Can we use a net for fishing? Good question. I am not sure. Yeah, Dinkum's a great game. Uh, honestly, all these little cozy farming games, like what we played earlier today, Lightyear Frontier, uh, all these like cool, cozy, fun farming fishing games, you could literally start a YouTube channel or a Twitch channel with nothing but those games and just have an infinite amount of content. Like you, you could just do like Stardew Sundays and just play Stardew Valley on a Sunday and play Farming Simulator. All those types of games, yeah. Oh, there's a fish trap? Okay. Well, we'll see what we can do about that one. All right, I'm going to catch one more and then maybe go home. Happy birthday. Thank you. I'll be uh, in Boston on my birthday and be streaming for maybe an hour or so from the floor of PAX, but maybe I'll stream from my hotel and stuff, too. My room. And maybe we'll do some... I think last year and every year for my birthday, we'd, u we'd usually do like a big community event. Like we'd play Farming Sim or we'd play like Fall Guys or something where like everybody or the biggest amount of people could join. Like we tried to pick a game that everybody had and that everybody could play. And I can remember, you know, like... Morgan and Jerry and Indrid and other people joining for all these other games over the years. So my birthday is just as much about you guys as it is me. You know, we try to get everybody in. So because I'll be busy on my birthday, we might do... Maybe we'll do something on, like, next Monday. Because I'll be out on, like, Friday, Saturday, and then come home Sunday night. And so maybe we'll, maybe we'll do something Sunday night, Monday night or something. Hey, what's up, Cynthia? Thanks for the 16 months. Yep, Stardew Valley. Last time I played this was four years ago, 2020. 2020 seems like two years ago, yet also ten years ago at the same time. Woo, a halibut. Final Frontier getting an update? Oh, yeah. Well, that's supposed to come out by August, so it could get an update between now and August and then one final 20, uh, like 2024 release update for Tier 5. I do want to play more Farthest Frontier. I know you guys always want me to play it, and I want to play it too, but... Uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll play it a few more times before the big release. Or maybe the devs will give us early access to the big full release early. And uh, then we can start a series. Mm -hmm. I love playing that game, though. Hey, thanks, Cozy Joe. What did I think of the mechs and Helldivers? Oh, it was a lot of fun. What the hell is that? A battery? Oh, Joja Cola. Trash. Plus one speed. Uh, well, let's go home. 
yeah, uh, the mechs were a lot of fun, and Helldivers is a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed playing that with my friends. Colt and Bradford. It was nice to play with them again. Red, it, it was like I never left. It was great. Oh, so many of you are turning 30 and 31. Oh, don't worry. Your 30s are fine, guys. It's okay. It's not like you turn 30 and then just suddenly everything is just doom and gloom. That's okay. Early 30s are like the new late 20s. Just take care of yourself a little more and try not to eat so much junk and you'll be all right. You'll be aight. Oh, there's our house. Ooh, level one fishing, plus one fishing rod proficiency. Nice. All right, let's go take care of our animals. And we'll go sell some stuff. We keep selling them fish. Yo, Barsby, thank you very much for the Raptor Hatchling membership. Welcome back. Good to see you as always. More chicken eggs. I guess the white and the brown egg don't stack. Okay. Okay. Oh, I got more hay there. Let's water some plants. Maybe I'll save that for the egg festival. Alright, let's go see if we can buy a backpack. Oh, help wanted. Looking for someone to bring me four copper ore to aid in the understanding of local minerals. Open at nine. Oh. Shane. Oh, uh, what do you want? Leave me alone. like a daffodil, Shane? I'm gonna go look around for more stuff to forge. Yeah, that guy has not, not enough minerals. Joja Cola, fuel your life. 
basically Amazon Mart, Bezos World. Guys living in a van down by the river. Alex. Oh, hey, so you're the new guy. Cool. Yeah, bruh. Cool. Lit AF. There's a daffodil for you. Now, how much for the backpack? What the two thousand? I should have brought my fishing pole. We'll go fishing down by the old farm. See if we can get some different fish down there. We'll go to Willie's too. Rimworld announced a new DLC. Oh, really? I think I heard about something like that. Okay, well, we've almost got a thousand bucks, so I mean, it's not, that's not too crazy. Almost halfway there. Oh. Uh, Lewis is mayor. Didn't vote for him. Check garbage cans for loot. Oh, you can do that? Hello. Penny. Oh, hello. I'm Penny. Hello, Penny. Also, aren't you wearing purple here, but yet in your portrait you were, like, in yellow? Seems kind of sus. Unplayable. Vote Quimby. Have I heard of Slipstream? Is that some death metal band? Okay, so... I don't think I want to put anything in there. But I will go fishing. I'll bring with that with and fuel, fuel it up. She's reading a big old purple book. Oh. That's cool. It's a big old purple book about yellow dresses. Soggy newspaper. Oh, Slipstream is a game about... It's like a space survival game? Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah, always feel welcome to send me a DM on some of these uh, games you want me to check out. Anybody wants me to check something out, or if I haven't heard of something, please do uh, send a DM and ask me to check something out. I would love to see it. Yeah, you could DM that, of course. A broken CD. All we're finding here is trash. soggy newspaper? I've gotten, like, no luck at all from my own pond. There better be a damn bear fish in here or something. Oh, 
Oh, broken glasses. Okay. Nothing good in this pond. Let's go down to the old river. I got scammed. Nothing? All right, let's go to the bridge. Can you fish by the creek by the chicken coop? Oh, good question. With a little waterfall. Uh, we'll try that tomorrow. <laughs> Have I seen mysterious boxes fall out of the sky? Um, maybe in the past I've seen something like that. But not in this playthrough. Small mouth bass. Now that's worth it. Nice. First try. So before we do that, let's also eat some more jelly. Do you know what it means? Boxes falling out of the sky? I think I remember something like that. Could mean anything. Could mean that a UPS helicopter had its back door open. Who knows? A sunfish. Oh, the fishing update is coming out soon, too, to Traveler's Rest. Can't wait to play more of that with Alex and Chief Fox and whomever else. Ooh, 15 inch. The big boy. down by the river. It's peaceful. No one Miller, thank you very much for the Twitch follow, too. Thank you, buddy, for all your support. Lucky me. <laughs> Running anything with the new update yet? Um, I mean, we're in a new map. Or, well, you know, like at the new farm. Feels good. Chat's already saying there's new stuff like blue jellyfish things that I've been catching that I don't know if they're new or not, but... Whoa! A bream. 
And we got the fisherman achievement, too. Cool. Different times that they get different fish. Oh, that's right. Different places and different times. Also, is it different seasons, too, maybe? Maybe there's new fish with this update that only come around during certain times of the year. Who knows? Seasons matter too? Awesome. Oh, you got uh, tons of mods? Well, the dev did say that a lot of the major mods have already kind of been taken care of. Um, if you go to Concerned Ape on Twitter, he did mention that there was... Uh, there's a few things that they've already kind of anticipated and waited for, so... Most mods will work, maybe not all, but definitely worth looking into to see if they're already ready day one. But yeah, the dev did say uh, they kind of prepared for that. Mouth bass and some extra coal. All right, let's head home. What's up, Mustafa? How you doing? Dev said something about mini festivals. Wonder what they are. Oh, really? Well, we'll have to find out. Oh, yeah. Winter and autumn are good for ice fishing. That's true. I did see ice fishing in the game. I didn't even know that was a thing. weather. Beautiful and sunny. Check for spring onions southwest of town where the river meets the ocean. You can sometimes find a whole bunch growing right out of the dirt. Really? Good tip. Oh, new crafting recipe, bait. Yeah, it's good the dev took the mods into consideration, yeah. Oh, hey, a dog. Our doggo. Hello, ma'am. Marnie. Hello, raptor. You see this dog here? Yes, I do. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think he's a stray, poor thing. Seems to like this place, don't you think? This farm could use a good dog. Will you adopt the dog? Yes. Choose a name. Well, I already know what chat wants me to name it. So, give me a second, and I'll type it in. We already know. Well, Bear, you be a good pooch now, okay? Oh my god, Yogi is a bear as well. Oh my god, you guys are right. Yogi was a bear, and that was the default name for him, too. Oh my god. Hi, 
Me sell hats. Okay, Poke. Come to old, old house, Poke. Bring coins. Ha hat mouse. To our value, Joe Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide that caused, uh, caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. No corporation would admit to that. That's that's already inaccurate. It needs to be patched. It should say to our valued uh, customers, I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. There you go. That's what it would start with. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience the accident may have caused. As always, we value yeah, corporate goal. Uh, Morris, yeah. Okay, Walmart, Amazon. What is that? Decorative lantern. Ooh. All right, let's water some crops and do some fishing. Oh, is this ready to harvest? Hey, our first parsnip, cool. Yeah, inspirational like Shinra, you know. Uh-huh. Rufus is in charge now. A daffodil? Is it Joja? Joja? Whatever. They live. They live to give. I know. Really a gracious corporation. I think I'm gonna fish down by the dock again by Willie. It seems to be a better thing. Concerned Ape's a good dude. 1.6 has huge changes. Yeah. Three hundred pieces of wood could be fixed. Okay. This is a surprise to see me playing this. I mention this game all the time. Anytime people say graphics bad, game bad, I'm like, do you know how many people play Stardew Valley? Not like this game's ga uh, graphics are bad. They're just it's a d art art style choice. Besides having a million games that look like Battlefield 5, but play like uh, the day before, ain't great. We need something for everybody. What's with the bubbles at the top of the screen? Oh, you're right. That's a good thing. We should go fish there. Good job. You know, this uh, fishing minigame a little bit reminds me of some of the fishing minigames in uh, Dredge. It's fun that way. Indie devs are amazing, truly. Truly amazing.
big old halibut. <laughs> this reminds you of Game Boy Advance for Stardew. Yeah, that's true. Like it reminds me of that and like SNES and stuff. Back in the day, many games had more of an end goal, like a story to get through and then you'd roll credits, but it is nice that there's a huge market for people to just, you know, you get 20 bucks, you buy a game back in like 2016, and then you play it for like the next 10 years. Imagine that. Imagine buying this game on day one and playing it like pretty much all the time, and then when you get bored of it, a new update is like around the corner, and then you're like, well, I want to play it more then before the new update comes out. This is probably one of the best investments ever, is to buy like a game like this, even if it's like on sale or whatever, and then playing free update after free update for like 10 years. Imagine that. And then you put a thousand hours into it and it's like, well, you basically paid 10 cents a year. <laughs> That's really cool. Hey, out of the way, pal. I'm fishing here. sell some. Hi, Willie. Got some fish for you. Ooh. We're only like 250 away. You're still playing Zeus? That came out in 2001? Hell yeah. Love it. Love to hear that. I mean, on this channel, we've gone back to things like Rise of Nations and SimCity 4. And it's like, if the game is old and good, there's no reason not to play it. The only reason that maybe you shouldn't be able to play it is maybe a weird hardware issue where, like, maybe you have to download a mod or something to get it to work. But other than that, nothing should stop you from enjoying the old classics. Go reinstall Diablo 2 and just play it back in just like it was 1990-whatever again. Oh, you miss old Sim games like Sim Savari? Oh, yeah. Old school Maxis, yeah. Yeah, there were only really a few games I think that were really good. Like Sim Tower, Sim City, Sim Copter, I think were some of my favorites. Then I know there was like Sim Ant and like Sim Farm. Copper ore. <laughs> My first Harvest Moon was a Game Boy game I played on the first gen. Oh, Nintendo DS. Yes. Yeah, this plays a lot like Harvest Moon, too. This game is by no means original. And I think that's why Stardew is a really good example of games like. Games don't have to be original. They can, like, copy from other games and do things better. Then the original. New technology comes around, new ways to do things. That's totally fine. I think if somebody was inspired by StarCraft and, like, Red Alert, and then they want to make an RTS <laughs> in today's market, and everybody like, comes out and people really enjoy it and everybody thinks it's a good game, then good. That's what I want to hear. Uh oh. Uh, we'll get rid of that. There we go. Hey! Raptor, it's been a while since I've caught a stream. Happy to be here. Welcome aboard. Happy to have you with us. Cat, thank you very much. Okay, I just need to get a little bit more for that backpack.
Just a little bit more. You watch LGR SimCity 3000 video? Oh yeah. I can't wait until he covers uh, SimCity 4. Hopefully soon. We haven't played Outlast Trials yet. <laughs> Me and the troop. Hey, we got... All right, we got it. 2,000 bucks, finally. Uh, I think the store closes at 5, though. got the large pack inventory space increased to 24 nice now there's a big one for 36 or 10k wow. feels good man oh yeah perfect now we got way more storage space <laughs> that's gonna help a lot uh tad pt thank you very much for the tier one twitch sub as well happy to have you in the chat welcome aboard enjoy the emotes everybody if you're watching over on youtube too don't forget you can become a member click or tap that join button become a member today awesome emotes and more and or you also have the chance to become a member uh by being gifted a membership exclamation point gift to turn that on and somebody in the chat may drop a gift bomb and uh, chat usually does drop quite a few gift bombs every day. So thank you very much for your support. It's likely that you might get gifted one of those. So You never know. Chat works in mysterious ways. All right, let me go grab some food for these guys. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, that's what we picked up. Hi, chickens. Love you. Oh, they want to sleep. They're going to sleep at seven? Jeez. Yo, Barbsy. Thank you very much for the uh, five gifted memberships for chat. Thank you, Barbsy, for that. Gift bus emotes in the chat. Party bus, let's go. Oh, hi, Bear. 
I love you. Mmm, not yet. Well, we're kind of low on energy. What the hell? Whatever. We don't have to go for a thousand percent efficiency. We're just chilling. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, it's the cops. Hi, uh... Hi there, good morning. <coughs> I noticed uh, you've been breaking rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get out of the most... If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens I have an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. Ah, oh, people in this town are so nice. With no ulterior motives at all. Learn how to craft a furnace. Furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and rap battles and tool upgrades. Drop the bars. Now, when you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. You can make your work a lot easier. All right, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Well, thanks, Clint. Do you still have the party bus music? The, mu the song slaps. I know. We're going to have to uh, play that when we play the uh, title DLC for uh, Gas Station Sim. They wrote me and they're like, hey, our DLC's coming out. Do you want a key? And I was like, yeah, I'll take that. I was hoping they would send it to me early, but it's supposed to come out on the 21st, I think. So day after tomorrow. But hopefully they give it to us like tomorrow or tonight. The moment they give it to me, I'll change the streams around and we'll play it because Gas Station Sim is a banger. Got some new items in stock, a deluxe fishing pole and some bait that you can attach to it. You can use bait to uh, make fish bite faster. Hope to see you soon. Nice try, Willy, but I'm already level three, level two fisherman. Daddy. Oh, do you want... Can I put water in your bowl? I can. Oh my god, game of the year. Um, let's water our plants. Farthest run uh, tier streams are truly missed. Yeah, I know. I want to play it too. But I do have a, I don't know. Last couple of years, Chad, I've been getting into trouble. I've been playing too many games and not finishing enough of them. But I guess that is kind of part of the, the territory. Is to at least take a look at what's new. Like, for example, right now we're going to do this with Stardew Valley. Like, I... I'm going to be very busy and not have enough time to truly get too deep into this, but it's nice to revisit it and see what's new and to let everybody know that there's new stuff and it's pretty cool. Okay, um, I guess I'm going to go break rocks down in our farm and see if I can find more ore and stuff. Look at the amount of money we have. Nice. Streamers life start a game can't finish him. I know, I know. But that's why I didn't start like um what is it? Yakuza like a dragon and Elden Ring and <coughs> Baldur's Gate and stuff, because I wasn't sure if I would I, I mean I'd I'd like to try those, but I also want to finish those. And uh like for example, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, I want to play that too, but I just might not have the time. The problem is me. What's new with 1.6? Well, we got a new map. And we've got... Uh, you can dr drink mayonnaise now. Huzzah. The thing we've all been waiting for. Uh, but there are patch notes on Steam, so I'm not sure everything that's new, but... Sounds like there's new mini-festivals. Places to go, people to see, that kind of thing. Yeah, bluegrass, yeah, and then uh, more of a focus on animals, at least in this map, a little bit. Boom, 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 boom. 
Yeah, the egg festival is coming up, yeah. So I'm holding on to all of our eggs for the, the big O egg fest. think with quieter months I can stream the games I want to finish? Yeah, like Banishers, uh, New Eden and all that. Yeah. And uh, The Last Train Home. Mm-hmm. Got to finish that too. Yeah, my birthday's coming up on Saturday. I'll be... Uh, I'm going to stream on Saturday from a PAX event for Astragon, the people who make like construction simulator and stuff. They invited me out. And they were like, hey, we'll fly you out to PAX East for your birthday. And I'm like, well, one, I get to go to like a, a gaming event, finally. And so I'll be able to see a bunch of booze and other things like that. Two, I get to stream. And three, it's kind of like a birthday gift to be able to see Lumberjack and Dirty again and, and Buford. Yeah, Bradford said he was going to come out. Wait. Bradford told me he was going to come to my house today. Hmm. He's like that. Anyway, I'll see those boys on the weekend. You think you have this game? Well, if you do, you got the newest update, too. Uh, the bluegrass, if your animals eat it, they produce a higher quality product and stuff. Like cows will make better milk, chickens will make better eggs, that kind of thing. Hey, what's up, Holly? Welcome back. Good to see you. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion win. Didn't they say they're making like a Luigi's Mansion 2 or something? I thought that was confirmed. I'm going to leave the tree next to my house. You think they need a multiplayer game like this? Well, this game is multiplayer. You can uh, play this one with friends. Wood for other things. Dogs freaking out up there. Yeah, I thought you could play four player with this one, but I mean, I'm sure it's modded so that we can play 10 million people. I'm sure there's something like that. Okay. Um, I think I want to go fishing just so I can buy more um, seeds and stuff and keep on growing and doing stuff like that. They added support for more than four. Oh, cool.
That's cool. Yeah, our dog's name is Bear. Yeah. Chat wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, you haven't played this game since 2016? You didn't know you had it? Oh, wow. Well, what a delightful surprise. It's like finding 20 bucks in your wallet. Kids are living the high life. That's a pretty nice uh, playground. Maru. Oh, aren't you the new... Aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Mm -hmm. What's up, Pablo? Welcome to the stream, everybody. Oh, this is nice. is doing some fishing. If I bring in the wood that we have down here, we might be able to rebuild that uh, dock, too. Bridge. You're eating Basmati rice and watching the stream? Oh, did you buy it from my grocery store? There we go, an oyster. Scroll in the animal tab for a hidden animation. Ah, oh, it crashed my game. <laughs> Damn it, chat, you got me good. Scrolling in the animal tab will crash your game. You monsters. Criminals. Is that really a thing? Oh wait, this is from this is from a long ass time ago, that one. Wait, is that is that a is that a crash or is that was there supposed to be an animation? Oh, now it's back at the beginning of the day again. Oh, it does. Oh, it is a crash. Okay, all right. Let it be known: if you guys play Stardew Valley and you try to scroll in the Animal tab, your game will crash. Okay, don't do that. Do not, do not scroll in the animal tab. Your game will crash. My other character looked exactly the same, except he was wearing sunglasses. I am so basic. It's hilarious. Yep, day one bug. Oh, what? Oh, this is from, like, the day before, isn't it? Don't forget to dig up worms that were on the beach. Okay. Did the game suddenly get louder? I feel 
surprised the game got louder. Not so loud. It was weird. I didn't change anything, so. Okay, anyway, uh, where were we? So I cut down some trees. And then we watered some plants, so we're okay. Not a big deal. Yeah, the, the volume turned itself up too. Like, that was weird. And maybe it has something to do with the crash. I don't know. Okay. And then I chopped up a bunch of wood. Maybe we can use that for the bridge and we'll go down to the beach and keep digging up like worms and stuff. And fishing. out a piece of my fence out of my my sadness and rage okay Let's see if we can feed the chickens. Okay, love you, love you. Cool. for the bear. Oh, this is different. Oh, hi there. What an eyesore. Uh, this is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. Uh, I used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now just look at it, it's shameful. These days, young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. But listen to me. I sound like an old fool. Joja Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old-timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Oh, well. If anyone else bugs a Joja Co. membership, or buys a Joja co-membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. 
Here, let's go inside. Do you start with basic cooking recipes? Um, maybe. I, I haven't made anything yet. I just eat whatever I find. I'm hungry like that. Hmm. What's this? I guess Vincent and Joss must be playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. What? What's the matter? Are you ill? You saw something. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. Like Applebee's. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, you're worrying me, Raptor. Dot, dot, dot. Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked for now on. Maybe you can catch the rat if you have some extra time. Rat? Thinking rat? Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Hmm. Oh, the townsfolk will give recipes too? Uh, as well as the TV? That's awesome. A wild horseradish. Kitty. Oh, this looks like a spot for some good fishing. Hey, what's up, Andy Black? Welcome back, dude. Perfect, and we got a carp. You like the Stardew fishing game? A lot of people say they hate it. Oh, really? I think it's all right. For whatever reason, it reminds me of the fishing mini game in uh, Sea of Thieves, although it doesn't really play like that at all. Oh, a large mouth bass. Nice. All right, we're in a good spot. Go make some money, y'all. Some money, y'all. Oh, the show's the Queen of Sauce? Okay. Queen of Sass. Chub. Gold star, too. Sassy queen, yes. Saucy sass. The sassy sauce. Oh, this one's got a chest. Nice. Frozen Geo times three. 
Blacksmith can break this open for you. Oh, and 10 bait. Wow. Now, how does that work? How do I bait the fishing pole? Must first be attached to a fishing rod. Not sure how to do that. It's good sounds. Legend of Zelda had the best fishing? Really? I don't even remember fishing in that game. I do remember catching like the fireflies or whatever in a, a glass jar. And I remember putting on those shoes that let you run really fast and then you can uh, smash into that uh, library bookshelf to knock a book down to translate something. That game was really cool. I appreciated the combat but also the, you know, like kind of puzzles going on. Riven. Riven is coming out soon too, the remake from the sequel to Myst. And, uh, Man, I want to play that one. That one's going to be so hard. I'm going to need all of chat to like be in on that one. That's going to be like calling all chat times two. Fiance loves this game. You'd sit and watch and dance with the music. Oh, really? Oh, green algae. Yeah, the music's good. The... The dev made the music themselves, too. I think it's kind of the same with Undertale. I think Toby Fox made all the music for most of it. Yeah, we're going to call all big brain emotes for Riven. Riven is like... The mist is not so easy, but... You know... Not so hard at the same time. Depends on the puzzle, honestly, but... Riven's going to be crazy. I also wanted to complete that other game we played, too. We, we beat Firmament, but we didn't beat um, that other game. Uh, oh, what was it called? Um, Osmosis or something? Osmosis Jones. <laughs> Whatever the name of that game is. Was there bubbles? Oh, yeah, I got low energy. Abduction, that's it. Yes, thank you. Abduction was a good game. I haven't beaten it, but uh, I do love those Cyan games for sure. They, it really feels like, even though they made it 3D and first person and stuff, feels like you're playing a, like a point-and-click game. I love that. Okay, let's uh, sell what we can here. Cool. Oh, it's going to be too late. Eh, we'll go tomorrow. When does the blacksmith shut down? 9 to 4, okay. You had a friend who worked on the original Mist? Wow. I think they have in their offices, like, the original computer that they tested Mist on. Like, they had one computer that they'd program everything on. And then they had another computer, I think, that had a floppy drive and a disk drive that they'd test both versions, like the completed version of it on. So there's like, they've got the computer that basically made mist. I guess we'll sell these here. That's fine. Uh, did I water that? I did, okay. I don't know how to equip bait on a fishing pole. Are these new sunglasses? Yes. 
I, uh, my other sunglasses I left in Europe. But I know where they are, and I can get them anytime. They're not lost. But the reds look good, especially with the, uh, the hoodie and stuff going on, right? I should get new glasses anyway. Uh, you guys are awesome, by the way. Exclamation point P.O. Box, too, by the way. People like uh, Gallon and whatnot sending, like, a cowboy hat and, like, a hard hat. You guys have sent a lot of cool hats, and I would wear them more. Uh, but them being hats, it's kind of hard to use with my headphones. But we'll find out a way. We'll, we'll find a way to use them somehow. I got some really cool hats lying around from all of you. Like the... Uh, like the, I got like a military like uh, beret and stuff like that too, which we'll use for maybe broken arrow and stuff when it comes out. But I think I need some more glasses. If you guys are gonna send anything, maybe maybe glasses would be good. I got an eye patch as well that I was gonna wear for see um, for uh, skull and bones, but I uh, I wanted to wash it first because I, I don't know I'm superstitious about any of that stuff if it's not been cleaned. Pretty cool. But hey, we can always do it for a Halloween thing. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, 7 o'clock. Everything's in the box. Gotta get some more cash for more... Uh... Oh, we need a higher tier fishing rod in order to use bait? Okay, thank you. Uh, we'll go to the shop, I think, tomorrow. Uh, let's go watch some TV. See if we can find that sauce show. Weather report or fortune teller? Rain tomorrow. Okay, so it's going to rain. So we can run right straight to the thingy. Check the stove for recipes? Okay. Oh, level three fishing. Plus one rod per... Oh, we can now cra uh, craft the crab pot. And we can make a dish of the sea. Cool. Wow, nice. 500 bucks for fishing. You think the sauce show is on Sundays? Okay. Today is day seven. Is that Sunday? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Queen of the sauce. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of the Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish is stir-fry, a perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil. Make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. Oh, that's good. You now learned how to cook stir-fry. Cool. I don't even think I own a stove, do I? Oh, the dog's sleeping by the fireplace. Cool. Man, that sounds good, though. Fresh vegetables, some sesame oil, <coughs> ginger, and the garlic. Mm. Dear Farmer Raptor, Raptor, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. Really nice little house. However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay me a, pay a fee, I can expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With the kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned. How ironic. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley, your local carpenter, Robin. Mm hmm. I see. She wants money. All right, is the car blacksmith open on Sundays? Nine to four, okay. Does it say days, though? Mm hmm. So the blacksmith is open every day, nine to four. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, the game was creeping on me. It's like, he's got his first recipe now. Now it's time to sell him the kitchen. Sell, baby, sell. Oh, yeah. Nine. What the hell is this? 
Closed until summer. Oh. Well, let's do some fishing while we wait. Oh, it's a lemonade stand? Oh, is it? Oh. I'm also fishing for compliments, so if you uh, want to give me some lovely compliments over on exclamation point Twitter or exclamation point Instagram in the chat, I'd love to hear what you think about uh, some of the cool food I ate, some of the cool places I went, and what I did when I was in Europe, which apparently is a real place. My character looks so bored. Well, I'm not. I'm having a good time. Big O Shad. Ooh, and lots of bait. Wow, look at that. 20 bait plus an earth crystal. Ooh. Gunther can tell you more about this if you donate it to the museum. Canada next? Yeah, I think I think I'll swing by Canada. I do want to do more train stuff. Process geodes. Ooh, shiny. You found an artifact. The curator of the local museum might want to know about this. Okay. An ancient drum. That was hidden in there? Huh. Lunarite and those earth crystals. What's the other thing I found? Oh, this. Hematite. I think that's uh, iron, right? I'll have to see what a new pole cost me. go fish oh that's a nice cream uh, stand oh you're ripping dip that's right bro I saw so many KFC's when I was in uh, Europe it was crazy and I resisted going to all of them because I was like yeah I don't know KFC so looked down upon by me here in the US it's like I I would have hated to like go to a KFC in Europe and even do like a chicken sandwich with like some potato wedges and be disappointed. Yeah, I would. It would have ruined the day. My whole day would have been ruined. Yeah, or, I didn't see a single Wendy's. I did not see a Wendy's. Compare their awful KFC to our awful KFC. Yeah. I feel like in Japan, there's standards, probably in Europe too, but, uh, you know, for that kind of thing. But Amer it's just, it's just f falling off the edge in America. I have no idea how A&W, Long John Silvers, and KFC are still a thing in the United States. I have no idea. Like post-COVID, I, I have no idea how they survived. Small mouth bass. Long John exists because they did takeout? I, I have no idea. I have no idea how they survived. Like Sonic and A&W, how'd they make it? Mm -hmm. 
it's a balsy. Pretty good catches here off the dock. What is a Mr. Beast Burger like? I don't know. I, didn't they shut that down because it was just a bunch of ghost kitchens and the quality wasn't that great? Mm -hmm. Ah, well. He sells chocolate candy bars now. When I got to the Czech Republic for the first time, I went to this... Uh, oh, that was a rough one. I went to this uh, little mall in Bruno. And uh, as I was crossing this, like, uh, highway on this footbridge, there was, like, a little vending machine sec section called American Snacks. And I was like, oh, I have to audit this immediately. Hold on. I told everyone I was with, hold on, boys. Come over here. And so I went over to the vending machines, and I was like, all right, I got to see which ones are accurate. What do they got? Dr. Pepper? All right, that checks out. Pringles? That checks out. And then there were a few things in there that I were like, uh-uh, nope, nice try, Europe. Nice try. <laughs> like, for example, the Dutch. The Dutch have this thing called America sauce in the Netherlands. And essentially, America sauce is basically just uh, kind of a version of mayonnaise with pickle relish in it. Now, when you call your sauce American sauce, and it's presented to an American... And they're like, what the hell is that? Then you can't call it America sauce anymore. You can't. If I call something Dutch sauce, and then it's just uh, ketchup with, like, crushed black pepper in it, and then a squeeze of lemon, and I'm like, oh, dude, that's Dutch sauce. And Dutch people are like, what the hell? That has nothing to do with the Netherlands. Well, then you got you to gotta change the name. So I would like to uh, immediately announce my uh, lawsuit against the rogue state of uh, the Netherlands for their attack on America. Yeah, it's, it's literally just mayonnaise with, like, pickle relish in it. And it's damn good. It works on a lot of stuff. Like, it, it's basically, um... Uh, like, you know, good for french fries. Mayonnaise with pickle relish is what we call tartar sauce in the South. Yeah, maybe. But it, it wasn't... I don't know why they just didn't call it American tartar sauce or just tartar sauce. They called it America sauce. As if this is like a sauce that all of it... Like, if you're going to call something America sauce, that's ketchup. Because ketchup could go on pretty much everything. I mean, I prefer a lot of other things than ketchup on, like, a hot dog. But in a pinch, uh, ketchup goes on pretty much everything. I mean, you could, you could probably get away with putting ketchup on eggs and... Uh, like, even roast beef. It would probably make the roast beef worse, but I'd rather put ketchup on roast beef than mayonnaise with pickle relish in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, ranch. That's another thing, too. It was funny because when I was in Europe, there were a few things that were ranch flavor, but they called it creamy dressing. They didn't want to call it ranch. Like, I went to Max, and I got a dipping sauce for the fries, and I was like, yeah, I ain't gonna have ketchup, I want something different. What's this, creamy dipping sauce? Oh, and then there was this, um... I, I actually chat, I'm, I'm gonna admit something to you. I went to a McDonald's. I did. And it's in the Czech Republic. And they had a designer burger from some, like, famous Czech chef. And I had to have it. I was like, alright, well, if you guys want to go to McDonald's, fine. But if I'm going, I'm going all out with the super fancy thing. And what is ranch sauce? Yeah, it's like a... It's like a salty mayo, kind of. It's the only way to explain it. With like a little... Like a little pepper in it. But it's not. I, I don't know. I don't know if... That should have been the true American sauce. Ranch is like... Uh, you, got, you know what you guys need to do? Here's what I... Alright, I'm, I'm assigning chat homework for tonight, alright? Everybody take, take out a notebook... Get out a, a, a napkin or a scratch pad or some crayons. Here's what everybody needs to do. I want everybody to go to YouTube tonight and type in uh, the scene from Breaking Bad. Just type in French, okay? Just type in Breaking... No, I'm sorry. Better Call Saul French. Or, is it French? I think so. There's a scene 
where there's a guy, I forget exactly how it goes, but there, anyway, there's a guy who's like the head of this company that owns like Los Polos Hermanos or whatever. Anyway, there's this big CEO and he's in this kitchen lab and all these chefs are like coming up with all these different dipping sauces that go good with like uh, tater tots and chicken and other things like that. And this guy's just eating all these sauces and it's like you got your standard ketchup, you've got like mayo. I think they have ranch at one point. Everybody needs to go watch that scene. And that's basically, that's what it was like for me in Europe. It's like, yeah, we have this sauce. We call it a creamy Cajun sauce. Like, that's buffalo sauce. Nice try, Europe. Next. This is buffalo hot sauce. It's buffalo wing sauce. Nice try. God, we got we to sue Europe. I, we got we to gotta take them to court, America. We gotta, we're going to the Hague right now. Criminal trials need to be held for what Europe's trying to do to dip in sauces. It's like, oh... Um, we call this America sauce, and we didn't pour 740 pounds of sugar into uh, one gram of it. Oh, you're going to jail, Europe. Nice try. <sighs> yeah, French dressing and ranch. They called it French. You know, I got some shout-outs here. Thank you very much to uh, the Artie King. Thank you very much for the Raptor Hatchling membership. Welcome back, dude. Good to see you in the chat. And 20 bucks, too? First super chat on the channel saying cheese. Thank you. Uh, that is one thing Europe does way better than America, though. Cheese, by far. 110%. European cheese is top tier. I tried a couple of Swiss cheeses. Um, th there was a mix of fondue cheese, and I don't know what it was. But there was... Um, there is one cheese called Guerre. It's like Le Guerre or whatever. Oh, my God. Like the smell, like it's it's a bit of a meme to like smell cheese and and eat and be all fancy with it. But my God, some of the cheeses that I had, like I could you could feel it in the cheeks. You know what I mean? Like it was something that I don't. know, It, it changes your DNA. You felt like those kids from Animorphs when they become like a bird. <laughs> that's that's what it felt. It felt like being a fifteen year old that was morphing into like a hedgehog. You could feel your body just changing around you. Oh my God. Swiss cheese is way better than American cheese. American cheese doesn't even qualify as cheese. It's not even, let's, not even, let's not even pretend. There's no way. 98% of everything in Wisconsin just gets turned into a plasticized piece of trash. I mean, there's, we could do, in this great nation, with all the different landscapes we have and grass and stuff like that. Yeah, gri cheese. I, I forget how to say it, but yeah, it's a damn, it's a damn fine cheese. But... Um, American cheese is just absolute trash. You have to, if it's made in America, it needs to be monitored by a European company or something. It need, it could be a product of America, but it needs to have, like, American ba uh, European babysitters to make sure we don't F it up. Like, America, were you trying to put a bunch of sugar and chemicals into the mix? No. <laughs> we don't need that. Dude, just take, just take, you know, quality ingredients, feed it to a cow, and then, you know, but no, that doesn't, you know. Make a good product, and ch damn it, Europe, Europe does cheese top tier. I don't think, I don't think Asia really does a lot of cheese. There's goat cheese and stuff, but in Japan, that's like a rarity. <coughs> it's hard to find cheese in Japan, like at a grocery store. You can find it at like a burger place, no problem. But and thank you very much to Triceraflops for the uh, Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. All right, sorry, I, I had to go on my rant because I'm I'm passionate about that cheese, ma'am. I forget how to say it. Gruyere. I think you're right. It is Gruyere cheese. It's um. It was recommended to have with like as a as a fondue cheese, but my God, Gruyere, yeah, some some something along those lines, yeah, it's it's good. If you know what I'm talking about, you know it's good. Some of those Swiss cheeses are are high tier. And now I kind of actually want to do like wine tasting and cheese tasting. I thought it was like a fancy snooty thing to do, but I had no idea how straight up real cheese is like that. When you can when you can feel it in your cheeks. That's like a heart, like cheese like that, that that's, that's good. It's like a whiskey. Ireland has a best area. Oh, really? I would not be uh, opposed to going to Europe to try more cheese. You know, in America, cheese is kind of just a topping or an extra. Like, that's something you put on a burger, or you shred that up and put that on a taco or in a soup, but... Eel. Wow.
anyway, America, I think, does sauces better, but that's because we we don't have any rules. Regulations. But cheese, don't, don't trust it. We really need to do a... Uh, like a Green Bay cheese party where we just load up some cheese trucks and just dump them into the river. Wisconsin needs to declare its independence, become its own nation. Produce its own cheese. Refuse to be governed. Damn it. I want to go on like a, a tour of a cheese factory with Alex and just like watch the amazement in his eyes. It'll be like bringing a child to a. Uh, it'll it would be like tr teleporting back to 1997 and having somebody go on a Nickelodeon uh, Toys R Us shopping spree. It doesn't taste good. Add some sauce. Yeah. Well, oftentimes in America, uh, sugary and powerful sauces like that are just to try to hide crappy ingredients. It's the same like in the United States. If you look up at the ceiling and you see all that cottage cheese, popcorn BS ceilings, it's not, it's not for fanciness. It's to hide flaws in construction and in crappiness of materials and sheetrock and things like that. That's not there for fanciness to look nice. That's there to hide crappy construction and lax regulations. And that's the same with the sauces. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. They're a liar. They're paid off by big ceiling and big cheese to spread the lie. <laughs> it's made up by big ceiling to sell more ceilings. <laughs> oh my god. Why do I even stream anymore? Yeah, go yeah, go go look at your kitchen ceiling. You'll see all the cracks and things like that. I mean And then people ask act like it's a lot to ask for like a decent structure to be completed. Oh, you want to build an outhouse that's going to be 70 million dollars. Does it have an emergency exit? Does it have a fire escape? It's like no, it doesn't need that. Just build something nice. Oh, can't do it. Got to be up to regulation. There are good cheeses in America. Check out a cheese shop at cost, though. Yeah, you're right. But I feel like the there shouldn't be good cheese and bad cheese. It should just be cheese. And cheese should just be good. Alright, let's go home. This is the most logical conversation I've ever had. A1 is to hide poorly cooked steaks. Yeah, A1 is like this rogue balsamic attack. It, it's really... Balsamic vinegar on a steak is great. A1 is just like... It's like using a cannon to kill a mosquito. It's just too aggressive. A1's okay if you use a tiny, itty little bit of it. Is like a veneer on top of a steak to bring in some extra flavor. But anything more than one molecule of it is just too much. Like eight, Every time that I make a steak, I always go into the refrigerator thinking I'm going to find A1 steak sauce. And then I remember, wait, I never buy it because I don't need it. Because a steak and some salt and pepper, maybe a few other minor things, are all you need. Yeah, A1's bad for steaks. Yeah, you don't really need it on there. I mean, I honestly think that in my mind, I think I bought A1 steak sauce over the last five years, and I don't, I don't think I've had it in my refrigerator for five years. I always go 
into the refrigerator thinking I'm going to find a bottle, and then I remember, wait, I never bought any. I don't need it. At most, I'll sprinkle a little, uh... Like, what are the... What are the three hardest things to say in the English language? What are the three hardest words or things to say? It's like, I was wrong, I'm sorry, and then Worcestershire sauce. I think those are the three hardest things to say in the English language. And, uh... Yeah, Worcestershire is fine. You just put a l little bit on there. It's all good. Brings it out. Worcestershire, to me, is like soy sauce with like a little extra something in it. There's something. They do something. There's something to Worcestershire sauce where it, it's like soy sauce, but then it, it takes a hard turn somewhere. It's like 90% soy sauce, and then, and then it has this weird bend in it. I don't know. I feel like I could put Worcestershire sauce on something. Some sort of an Asian dish and almost pull it off. Hey, the taters are done. Check it out. All right. Parsnips, too. Now yeah, we'll put that in the box. That's fine. And we should probably go buy some more seeds now that we got, what, $1,400? Very nice. Is there an auto save? Oh, wow. Look at all the things we haven't found yet. There's so much in this 1.6 update that we're going to be checking it out for a while, I think. Although at least we were able to see the new farm and then some of the new things like uh, mayonnaise that you can drink now and some other pl secret places you can go. And of course, don't forget about the secret animation in the animal tab. Don't, don't, don't scroll. Don't go to this. Don't go to this screen and scroll. It'll crash your game. Don't do it. Chat tricked me earlier, but it was, it was funny. You guys got me good. All right, guys, Stardew Valley version 1.6 is out now. If you'd like to see more of this channel and uh, if you love this community, do make sure you smash like on the YouTube channel. It's incredibly important for YouTube to be able to suggest more of this content to you. So if you'd like to see more, smash like. And YouTube will definitely recommend more of this channel to you and to other people. So thank you very much for subscribing for free. Thank you very much for hitting like for free. Thank you very much for all your follows on Twitch. Exclamation point Twitch in the YouTube chat as well. You guys can uh, become a Twitch follower or a subscriber over there. I'm going to go for a little bit. I got a meeting to plan some more stuff for some upcoming trips. And then I'll be back tonight with some more... Uh, supermarket simulator we might switch to gas station simulator or some other game if we randomly get access but probably about 99 percent chance we'll play gas station i mean uh, supermarket simulator tonight so thank you again everybody for all the follows thank you very much for being in the chat and hanging out and chatting with each other and just being awesome you guys are wonderful so thank you very much for all your kindness thank you very much for all the gift bombs thank you very much for watching thanks for the super chats thanks for the birthday wishes thanks for being patient while i was out on a vacation and uh, coming on back when I returned. It's really nice to have you all here. So thank you very much for swinging by when you can. Thanks for hanging out every day, all day. And I'll see you all in a bit for our next Big O stream. Stardew Valley 1.6, again, out for everybody on PC. Consoles will have to wait a week or two, but should be out soon. And I certainly want to play more of Stardew Valley. And it was very chill to go fishing and do our first harvest. A very long game and a very chill game. A game that you should not rush by any means. It should be enjoyed like a fine cheese or a fine wine. You know what I mean? Alright, I'll see you all in a bit. Thank you very much everybody for watching. Have a good day.